So today, here we are back again with Partis 2011, this time Partis 2011.1 Dharma Dharma. I'm not sure how you say that, but it does sound a little bit strange. I imagine it must be this critter here that uh, that is derived the name from. Anyway, so basically what's happened since my last review. Now, if you haven't seen my last review of Partis 2011 uh, back when it was in the release candidate stage, uh, you can click here on the annotation and it'll take you back to the review and that will probably give you a good idea of where I'm coming from in this review. But basically this is just going to be a quick update and, uh, and you know, thoughts, etc. on uh, the KDE desktops that are available now. So, let's get started. Uh, now, I'm not going to talk about pre-installed applications too much because uh, they're pretty much exactly the same as uh, Partis 2011. Um, only thing, only difference is that the video that the video review that I've done was the release candidate, so they did have a few more web browsers and media players in it. But this time, uh, this uh, this time around, and in the 2011 release, you only have uh, GNOME M Player, and you also have the SM Player, which um, those are the only two media players you get, and uh, and they are quite nice. Everything else is virtually the same, except of course with updates. So we've got LibreOffice 3.4, we've got Firefox 5, and uh, we, we're update, we've updated the Linux kernel slightly, but we're still at 2.6.37, so it's not that big a deal there. But we are definitely looking at a uh, at a more up-to-date KDE. So if we have a look in here, it is KDE 4.6.5, so that is the same as most distributions are going to be rolling out now. Um, but that's where I, that's where we digress when it comes to Partis. Now, because of the fact I believe that because of the fact that Partis is such a professionally developed distribution, uh, along the likes of of many other proprietary systems, except it is open source, they generally uh, like to put a stake in the ground and put out a stable, solid release and only tweak security updates. And that's kind of what I've seen with Partis. You can enable development repositories uh, with their package manager, but uh, in all honesty, uh, they don't really update too many of the uh, they don't really update too many of the packages in here. So uh, pretty much on release day, that's what it comes with. That's what you're kind of stuck with, which can be seen as a good thing or a bad thing. For anybody who's uh, for anybody who's run a Linux distribution for any period of time, they're going to want to stay up to date with the latest software. And after running several other different systems since my first run in with Partis 2011, uh, honestly, I think that's a real convenience having the latest packages there. On the other hand, if you are the sort of person that just wants to install a system, have it work completely out of the box, and never have to worry about updates or anything like that, um, more or less how you would manage a Windows system, then Partis is definitely going to appeal to you as it's very little upkeep to keep it all running super silky smooth. Now having said super silky smooth, uh, performance wise, uh, I don't know. It actually seems slightly more, a little bit tiny more laggy than Partis 2011, and that's kind of surprising considering that this distribution is running KDE 4.6.5, uh, whereas the last one was running uh, KDE 4.5.5. So although um, transparency and window pop-ups are, are, are smoother now, um, as far as when you actually zoom out to desktop effects, it actually is uh, quite a bit slower. Now, having said that, that is just with the open source uh, drivers that you have out of the box. But thankfully, Partis uh, caters very well for this, and they do include a, um, a display manager which can help you uh, choose between whether you want to have your um, open source driver or whether you'd like to have the proprietary driver. So you come, you come in here in system settings and you can ask it to use the proprietary driver, which is fantastic, and then that will give you what you need uh, as far as graphics acceleration goes. And I'd say that's probably going to fix your um, any performance issues you might have in the uh, KWIN compositing department. Uh, as far as general system performance goes, I'm not sure. I think it's running maybe so-so. Uh, I'm not overly impressed with the performance of, of Partis so far. Um, this is installed on local hardware and I am using it as, uh, as my everyday system for the time being. But uh, honestly, I'm, I'm not entirely sold on it yet. Um, a lot has changed just in the last, uh, well, how, how long has it been? Four or five months since I did the Partis uh, 2011 review. And uh, honestly, KDE has been getting better and better and better. Um, in my opinion, uh, I think there are better KDE distributions out there. This still provides a very professionally done, solid, stable KDE release. 
But I think for where I'm at and for where a lot of other Linux users are at, I think there are probably better options out there. Um, even, I mean, straight before I installed this system, I'd been running PC Linux OS 2011.6. And honestly, that had been a pleasure to use. Um, I hadn't had any bugs, uh, bar for Samba printing, which I'd been trying to figure out but could not solve. But everything else worked very well. Performance was very admirable indeed. And, uh, and honestly, I'm not exactly sure uh, what would entice me to use Pardis over PC Linux OS. Because as I said, although Pardis is a very, uh, it's a very, very nice distribution, uh, at the same time, because of the fact that I don't really have the market share that a lot of other Linux distributions have, um, there's not uh, there's not really the uh, the infrastructure there. As I said, as I've said before, the mirrors, the uh, the repositories, etc. They they're all quite slow because they all pull just from the one source, which is uh, somewhere in Turkey. So, yeah, the download speeds aren't exactly that fast, but and the repos aren't as extensive as others. Having said that. They have uh, actually expanded quite a bit since the initial release of Pardis 2011. Uh, in the in the 64-bit version, we now have Skype, where uh, it will um, it will come up with the uh, with the latest version of Skype that you can download and use. Now I haven't actually uh, refreshed the repositories here yet, so that actually isn't going to help me at all. So I'll le I'll let that go for the time being. But there is a 64-bit version of Skype. There is a 64-bit version of Wine that you can now download and install straight from the package manager, which is very convenient, and uh, and that is very nice to see. But uh, as for the rest of it, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't think I'm going to be staying here long term. Uh, it's very nice distribution. Don't get me wrong. If you are looking for a KDE distribution that is going to work out of the box, I can almost guarantee Pardis. Um, because it is such a polished uh, distribution, they put so much work into it, and it really shows. Um, obviously, because it's uh, because it's developed by the uh, the science and research development uh, team of the Turkish government, it does get quite a bit of uh, investment into it, and it and it definitely shows. Um, but having said that. <sighs> I think nowadays there seems to be better options out there. Um, for me in particular, I think I'm definitely going to be going back to PC Linux OS at this point. Um, but as I said, there's kind of perks in PC Linux OS or in other KDE distributions or like Chakra or um, or even uh, Kubuntu that uh, that Pardis doesn't have. But at the same time, there are perks that, uh, that Pardis has that the other ones don't. So honestly, it's a tough decision, but I think I'll definitely stick with uh, with PC Linux OS. But having said that, if you want a solid KDE distribution, definitely have a look at Pardis 2011.1. The performance is marginally better. Um, I wouldn't say it's flying out of the gate. It is a tiny bit sluggish, but at the same time, I've been spoiled with, uh, with a desktop enhanced kernel as well, which you probably could tweak on here as well. But having said that, Definitely give it a try. Um, it's got all the applications you would need out of the box, multimedia codecs, you're all set up, ready to go. Again, I've had no hardware um, problems at all. Everything has come up just perfectly. They do provide the proprietary drivers, not out of the box, but they are installed there. So if you want to use them, you can turn them on, and that is very helpful. Um, but that's basically it from my point of view. Does it hold the same top, uh, top KD distribution? It's hard to say. I, I'm not so sure on it anymore. Um, it is definitely a wonderful KDE distribution and there is no point knocking that at all. It is a marvellous KDE distribution and it's one of the better ones in my opinion. But it's kind of hard to distinguish now as they don't really have a, uh, a superior gain on top of all, all the other ones. Uh, KDE 4.6 has come such a long way um, that it's really looking very equal across the board. So it all depends on on uh, on what you like, what your philosophy is, whether you want something that's up to date all the time, or whether you want something that you can just install and it'll work for forever and ever. Amen. That's entirely up to the user, but definitely give it a try if you think it's worth it. Um, and honestly, I'd be happy to recommend this to people, uh, for, especially for Windows users, because it's, uh, it's something that they'll understand that it, they're not really confused too much about repositories and getting the right repos and uh, updating because that can be quite a hassle for a new user. It's just something that you can set up, install, and you're gone and you're away and you can use all your favorite applications and, um, and yeah, and it won't really give you any trouble. So it's very professionally done, very well developed. Uh, well done for the Pardis team for pushing this out there. It's a very worthy upgrade to an already fine operating system. Mm -hmm.